Hey teachers, looking for a fun way to share goals for the new year? How about igniting your students' passion for writing? In this Innovation Coach tutorial, I will be introducing Write Reader. Hi, I'm Lolita, one of the Technology and Innovation Coaches, and I'm going to share how Write Reader can enhance the writing and reading experience for your students. Write Reader is a digital learning tool where budding writers can design and create digital books to showcase their writing with fun, easy to use features. Use Write Reader to put a fresh new twist on presenting expert topics, creative writing, or create multilingual books, just to name a few. In this tutorial, I will guide you on how to set up your Write Reader account, review tools and features, and discuss ways to use Write Reader with other captivating programs. Let's get started. To begin, go to writereader.com. Click Sign Up in the upper right hand corner. Select Sign Up with Google. If you already have an existing account, you can click Log In and then Log In with Google. Click on your name and email. You will then see your class's bookshelf with some sample books. Click on the settings to change the name of your class. We recommend keeping the features, children can see each other's books, and image search on. Now let's move on to adding your students to your Write Reader account. Students are added manually by clicking on Users in the top menu bar and then the blue plus student icon. We recommend creating unique usernames such as a student's 19 number or their first name to keep their accounts secure. Students will need their usernames and the class code to log in. You can find your class code by clicking on Users and sharing your class code by putting it in a convenient spot like your Canvas page or whiteboard. To log in, students will need to go to writereader.com and click Log In. It is helpful to create a button on your Canvas page where students can click to access the website easily. Next, select Students Login. Students will enter in the username you created for them and your class code. Once students have logged in, they can begin creating books. In Student View, students will be able to toggle between their own books and classroom books, which are made by other students and teachers in the class. To create a book, click the blue plus sign in the bottom right corner. Select the blue template option. Students can choose a book color by clicking the paint can in the top left corner. They can add an image to match their book description by clicking the image icon in the bottom right corner. They can find images from the image bank, search tool, camera, or upload from their Google Drive. After the front cover is complete, students can create a new page by clicking the plus sign on the right side of the book. The students will choose the blue template option to add a new page. Next, they can write their text in the first box and find a corresponding image. Teachers can write revised text, word banks, or comments in the educator box. This box can be used for other purposes such as dual language books or adding a second student text box. Students can use the arrow buttons to navigate between pages. When students have finished their book, they can view it by clicking Read Book in the top right corner. Now, here are some helpful features. Students can add audio by recording themselves reading the text on each page. To record, click the microphone icon. Other students can listen to the text by clicking the play button when available. The comment tool is another great feature that allows teachers to leave private student comments to allow for meaningful feedback. They only appear in edit mode and won't appear in the read mode or when you share the book. When a student opens their account, they will see a red dot on the cover of their books on the virtual bookshelf. This lets them know that they had feedback and they should open the book to review the teacher's feedback. At its basic level, Write Reader allows up to 60 books. When the limit is reached, teachers can choose to have students share books in class and then use the Delete Books button to make space before the next project. Another fun option is to use the screen recording tool in Flipgrid to record themselves reading their books aloud and sharing their posts with classmates before deleting their own book. 
This is a great way to utilize two helpful programs to capture creative student writing. Teachers and students can use Write Reader to create incredible digital books with vibrant visuals to spark their writing. How will you use Write Reader to bring out your students' inner authors? Stay techy, Team PUSD. See you next time.